Question. How does movie genre affect heart rate and blood pressure? So for the hypothesis we have that if the test subjects watch horror movies for a prolonged period of time, uh, then it will be found that their heart rate and blood pressure will increase. And if they watch comedy movies for a pretty long period of time, then it will be found that their blood pressure and heart rate will remain consistent. Variables. Manipulated. Movie genre. Responding. Blood pressure and heart rate. Control. 24 hours of sleep deprivation. Normal diet. Materials! The squeezy thingy <laughs> that checks the blood pressure. Uh, three horror movies, three comedies, and food. Procedure. The first part in our procedure was to take a baseline blood pressure and heart rate with the blood pressure thingy. And the second part in our procedure during each movie was to take a beginning, one hour in, and the end of each movie that we watched both horror and comedy. And that's our procedure. Oh! I didn't see you there. I'm test subject number one. My name's Rebecca. Hey guys! I'm test subject number two. My name's Catherine. watched the first hour of our first horror movie, Woman in Black. So we're doing our blood pressure checks here. So we'll get this going here. Alright, so we had 121 over 94, which is an increase from before. Alright, so obviously the movie has had an impact on us. It made our um, blood pressure go up, and that's an, only an hour in, and we'll check it again at the end. Your results? 144 over 112. So we have our results here from our first test here where um, I started at 119 over 89 and my final one was 121 over 93 with my heart rate at 87 that changed to 71. Test subject to Rebecca started at 119 over 86, ended with 144 over 112, and a heart rate from 67 to 61. These results show that horror movies do in fact increase blood pressure and heart rate. Test subject number two showed a drastic increase of blood pressure and heart rate during the first movie. But the general trend is that both test subjects' blood pressure and heart rate decreased as the experiment progressed. In comedy, the heart rate and blood pressure remained consistent for the first movie, but as the night went on, the heart rate and blood pressure went down due to sleep loss. Diets that are high in fat and cholesterol will increase one's blood pressure and heart rate and can lead to hypertension coronary artery disease, as well as heart disease. This is because excess cholesterol and fat in the body ends up in the bloodstream. Once in the blood, it can collect in tears or bumps in the arteries, eventually leading to plaque buildup. Based on the results of the experiment, we found that uh, sleep deprivation and stress will lead to, uh, uh, to decrease blood pressure. And by the end of the experiment, the subjects were very tired and they weren't fully uh, engaged in the movies is what we found out. Because of this, their bodies would have uh, begun to go into very light stages of sleep and their minds would, uh, wouldn't be, uh, would, they would be in need of oxygen, is what they would be. High levels of caffeine being ingested does seem to have an effect on blood pressure, um, as well as heart rate. This could be due to its stimulating effects, um, and because it is a stimulant, it can uh, cause vasoconstriction and dilation to be changed in arteries uh, all around the body, 
um, and especially around the heart. Um, it increases mental acuity, but it does uh, decrease motor skills, which has been shown by many different studies done by universities. And that means that um, arteries in muscles and organs could be constricting, while others in the brain can be uh, dilating, um, which means that there could be an increase in blood pressure and heart rate. Our group conducted a series of trials to see how sleep deprivation and stress act upon the body. We measured blood pressure and heart rate over close to 12 hours with different levels of stress. The horror movie should have made the test subjects more stressed because of the suspenseful nature, which triggers the fight or flight response. The comedies would have relaxed the subjects and kept their blood pressure and heart rate at a consistent level. However, it was surprising to find that there was a consistent decrease of blood pressure while heart rate on the average remained stable, with variance in between each trial. It was surprising because it was expected that the horror movie would consistently raise the subject's blood pressure and heart rate, even though they did the exact opposite. Through these trials, we learned that sleep deprivation has a larger influence on blood pressure and heart rate than stress does. This trend can be seen by both test subjects throughout the experiment with both horror and comedy movies. Also, we learned that when a person is stressed out but not tired, stress can have a very large effect on blood pressure. This jump that was seen can be shown in subject 2's blood pressure jump from 119 over 86 to 144 over 112. The hypothesis was proven to be correct. It was shown that when the subjects were scared during the horror movies, their blood pressure and heart rate increased, and when they were watching their comedies, their blood pressure and heart rate remained relatively consistent. An improvement that could have uh, made it was uh, the control variables between the subjects. Uh, sleep deprivation seemed to uh, have a very large influence on how the results turned out. So to eliminate the possibility of messing up the data, the subjects could have uh, watched during the middle of the day when they were like fully awake and not falling asleep. Another uh, improvement that could have uh, been made is finding an equilibrium between the two movies. So whichever movies that they equally find uh, scary and funny so that the results could have been equal. Sleep deprivation and high stress situations are common in society nowadays, which means that experiments such as this can be applicable to most people. Uh, high stress jobs can lead to sleepless nights and in the long run resulting in uh, an increase in blood pressure and heart rate, uh, which leads to detrimental diseases such as hypertension or atherosclerosis. Uh, those two diseases are becoming a lot more common in society nowadays. Another connection is the development of drugs that can alleviate lifestyle-based diseases. Um, such as hypertension, uh, atherosclerosis, or heart disease, uh, through research conducted by a study of situations that increase blood pressure and heart rate. Um, and if they're studied extensively enough, then the treatment could be formulated that could eliminate the effects of the increased blood pressure and heart rate.